so that was another thing that you know you don't do in india often yeah yeah which i don't understand why like if that helps anybody just tell them what you are earning or just tell them the number like geez what will ha- what will happen welcome to creative climb a series that's all about creative inspiration and career paths we'll be chatting with some seriously talented individuals who have defied the odds and made it big in their fields from food stylist to design enthusiast we'll get up close and hear all about how they got into their dream schools built killer portfolios and the wild wacky things they did to prepare for their careers with witty banter fun stories and lots of coffee i promise to keep you entertained and motivated so sit back relax and join us in this incredible journey of creativity and success today we have with us sonia who's a designer and illustrator and a friend so sonia has been to the school of visual arts for her residency for her design residency and i wanted to uh, wanted her to share her experience with us with all of you and uh, so yeah sonia thanks krishna thanks for <laughs> having me this feels uh, strange but yeah. fun uh i would uh, love to share my experience mm-hmm. and if anybody can benefit from this video that would be awesome so uh yeah let's get started yeah uh one of the reasons first i want to say mm-hmm. is that not a lot of people in india go to residency go for residencies right so uh in fact i think um in all of my friends mm-hmm. you i think uh, are the only one or i would just know a couple oh. of more people like do do say who mm-hmm. have gone mm-hmm. so i feel that it's important to at least share with people who would have finished the college or you know masters or anything mm-hmm. and they would be thinking of doing a couple of things mm-hmm. i get so many literally i get so many people write to me on linkedin saying mm-hmm. hi i'm going for a masters hi i'm going to do this mm-hmm. uh, is it even worth going for a masters right, right. and uh, so i feel that with you would start a residency of them something mm-hmm. different why not share and right. your experience and i feel that i also don't know a lot of people who went to spa mm-hmm. uh, from a circle like from india also maybe some uh, so it's better to yeah, yeah. you know cool. so mm-hmm. i think a lot of people would want to know why a residency and why not a masters program hmm a In very interesting question prithima coming from another masters yeah. uh, person i think uh, one main factor i think is definitely uh, money apart from the education in itself i feel that plays a huge role when mm-hmm. anybody looks at a commitment of like a year versus two mm-hmm. years for such short courses that are like uh, a month or more mm-hmm. than a month uh it's something that is dependent on various factors including what you're looking for from it as well mm. so uh in my personal experience in this residency what i went for is actually a masters mm. that is what i wanted to do ideally mm. but when i looked at like the details of the course and the masters in itself although it was a wonderful program mm. and i loved the curriculum mm. uh it the fees of that particular program were not affordable mm-hmm. uh, for me and my personal reasons were you know i did not want to get into debt uh, mm-hmm. so early in my life so for that reason also i was pretty much mm-hmm. convinced that i need to do something that i can afford that mm-hmm. does not give me that headache of you know i have to like earn this much yeah. or have to pay a debt Mm-hmm. so that was one variable for me another variable was the fact that i was actually figuring out what i like in design mm-hmm. and what i like in illustration mm-hmm. so as a, a person who studied design formally in her undergrad mm-hmm. i wanted to make sure i've covered like all my bases when i look at what i want to do in illustration as well mm-hmm. because when you go there you realize it's not just you know illustration as one particular thing there are many more layers to it there are different kinds of illustration uh, something that you're not e- exposed to in india per se because there's not enough work or there's just one person a designer doing everybody's work as even as an illustrator mm. so i feel there you do get exposed to all those things so is that possible in a shorter time versus do i have to spend two years understanding it yeah. so for me it was just trying to look at 
what I can learn most in a smaller amount of time when I look at also smaller amount of money mm-hmm. and I also look at smaller amount of commitment because I had already finished my undergrad as well as my master's mm-hmm. so I did not want to just have another master's for the sake of it mm-hmm. I wanted to do it if I was convinced that illustration is what I wanted to do full time mm-hmm. and to just gauge that I think a residency was a perfect opportunity to get an idea of how the master's program would be so for me that those were the main reasons for opting out for a residency rather than a master's master so india mein agar koi suppose karo nahi ja sakta for this course hmm. do we have any other option in india jo koi banda choose kar sakta hai mm, i don't think personally residency in illustration mein kuch hai aisa hmm. but there are definitely different classes like on different portals like for example i think skillshare has a very good set of like uh, professors and very good set of artists and illustrators teaching what they practice every day and she has it yeah yeah she has it there are many other even designers abroad mm-hmm. are pretty much present on mm-hmm. skillshare mm-hmm. so that way there are various ways to tackle it you don't have to do a residency per se but it's also like if you want to see another part of the world yeah, yeah. you want to get that experience mm-hmm. that also is uh, pretty much influential of how you work yeah. what you work on mm-hmm. so i think that's the main difference between an online and offline course mm-hmm. uh, even for that matter for the last i think 2 3 years the same residency has been running online oh because of covid because COVID. of the pandemic and uh, although i am sure all of the batches were great and you know they did great work mm-hmm. uh, it's a very different way to approach a residency because when you are in that place when you are given an assignment you look at everything from that point of view of what idea i can get what concept i can get mm-hmm. so for example one of the things i worked on was a comic based on people's shoes in the subway Mm-hmm. and that is because i have a habit of like looking down even right now in the video mm-hmm. sometimes i just look down and it's just something that soothes me down it it calms me down so when i look at even when i was in the new york subway i saw so many different varieties of shoes <laughs> yeah. right because i see so many strange shoes yeah. some interesting shoes so that kind of influenced a comic i made there now i'm sure probably if i was doing this residency online probably wouldn't have happened the yeah. same way for the same concept so all those things do influence the kind of work you do mm-hmm. as well so that's the main difference between online and offline that being said the curriculum is still the same the professors are still the same i think so that doesn't change but obviously your environment changes the way you think changes so that's the main difference yeah so if i have to explain to someone like mm-hmm. if i have to explain it to my dad just say right, right. then a residency is a focused hmm. program in which you study or you practice your craft for a focus like a focus period of time hmm. now that period could be like a month hmm. two months three months six months one year right and and curriculum wise kuch difference hota hai masters se ha ha curriculum is drastically different and you, are you graded no yeah no great it so it's like you as adults are practicing yeah. what you want to do yeah i think it also depends on the kind of residency yeah. because there are student residencies and there are also artist residencies hmm. and i don't know if there are any more like i'm not like the best person to talk about types of residencies hmm. but when i was doing my research i also came across ki i paid for this residency right for i can yeah. uh, i got like so much information mm-hmm. and i got these professors to teach me about illustration that was because there was a course designed mm-hmm. and i paid for it mm-hmm. that is why blah 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 but in the case of artist residencies some of the artist residencies are where people invite established artists to kind of come to their space mm-hmm. and do a project or do something that they are good at but with the topical thing of where they are currently living mm-hmm. say for example i'm a potter and i start doing my pottery somewhere in japan 
they would want the place i am living in uh, that to influence the kind of work i'm doing mm-hmm. so that it somehow informs yeah. their tourism aspect as well mm-hmm. so those are like more artist oriented residencies whereas this one was a student one so all of those factors also play a part because i remember the same literally having the conversation with my dad with my parents yeah. as well because they are so curious about oh what is this what does this even happen and all of these things are something we also get to know as we research hmm. so i'm sure there are more residencies yeah. coming up with different kinds of you know uh, formats patterns for different people but what i'm aware of currently is the student versus artist residencies you know there is this uh, artist residency mm-hmm. in my hometown in amritsar ha ah. ha and it's run by a ex shrishti student oh so both of us are from shrishti yeah, yeah. so uh, she's a super senior okay uh, that girl and mm-hmm. both the sisters i think are from shrishti both okay. sisters and they run this residency which is on the india pakistan border oh literally on the border you can see like this is pakistan this is india acha and then they have like a big uh, haveli kind of a house old house okay and uh, parents also lovely they know that aise young people come and they work mm-hmm. uh, like musicians uh, i think when was i was there uh, i was just there to meet them right. uh, because i was there uh, like i was home Mm-hmm. and then they were artists from like indonesia mm-hmm. and uh, different parts of india also mm-hmm. there's one woman doing crochet there's one woman making dolls mm-hmm. there's one woman making quilts and mm-hmm. then there's someone who is making music mm-hmm. and all of that is inspired by that gaon matlab right. that area right. around mm-hmm. and i felt like ye yahan ho raha hai matlab mm-hmm. next to my house like about right. 20 25 minutes away from my house and people yeah. have come for this right itna acha rich rich cultural mm-hmm. feeling aa rahi thi wahan pe jaake mm-hmm. and then people are just chilling on a hammock in between the fields mm-hmm. it's very good like i should link them here somewhere i don't know yeah but they are very good you should look them up they are doing very like they are good doing good work yeah so like this residency sounds like something that's not like per se teaching yeah. or does not have a curriculum but just something that wants other artists to explore mm-hmm. their craft with respect to the mm-hmm. space this is called preetnagar preetnagar residency mm-hmm. this one is called cool mm-hmm. my next question to you is that kaise chale gaye is beech mein utke residency when like i think you were working did you quit your job and जैसे अब अगर मैं मास्टर्स के लिए गई थी आई क्विट माई जॉब आई स्टॉप्ड ऑल द वर्क आई हैड अ कपल ऑफ फ्री डांस गोइंग ऑन आई एनी वे वेंट ठीक है एंड आई हैड अ फुल टाइम कोर्स सो ऑफ कोर्स आई कूडेंट हैव डन एनीथिंग एल्स अदर देन कॉलेज यूनी सॉरी पर वॉट डिड यू डू 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 यू ऑल्सो हैव पीपल हु आर वर्किंग इन बिटवीन सो आई थिंक इन माई केस इट वॉज प्रॉबली द uh like the i would say the conflict of not knowing what mm-hmm. i like in design exactly mm-hmm. what i want to do full time that led me to even uh researching about it in the middle of a job because uh, uh just to give you a bit of a background on where i'm coming from it's like for my undergrad i studied applied art for 4 years mm-hmm. and post that i wanted to be a writer mm-hmm. so i tried out copywriting for yeah. a few months in a studio where i realized no i don't want to be a copywriter mm-hmm. full time so i switched back to design mm-hmm. and i worked in a design uh, design agency but a digital one mm-hmm. and uh, that is where i realized like i think most of the work involved things around sports and you know charts and channels that you see on screen sometimes so that is something i did not enjoy either and all of this being a part of design made me more and more confused about what exactly is what i like under it because i don't want to make like sports charts mm. that is something i realized only after making them for a while mm. so that uh, is something that was playing on my mind about what do i like i need to figure it out so uh, after the di- digital agency job i uh, was planning to do a masters where i also met kritima so mm. i did a masters in visual communication at shrishti and during the course of those two years i realized that there exists something called illustration yeah 
and people pursue that as a full time profession apart from this graphic design or you know digital di- design in itself so a uh, post my post graduation uh, that is when i started working as a packaging designer in a startup and that is something that combines many aspects of design that i am interested in mm. and when i started enjoying that i realized oh this is something i should mm. concentrate on so packaging basically involves print design which i'm very very biased towards i love print tactile Point feeling yeah there. yeah so that was there then there was branding which i liked then there was illustration mm. that i was wanting to explore there was typography mm. that i liked there was copywriting so it really combines everything together and although as a designer you're not able to like work on everything mm. you are part of a very important narrative that ties up together which makes up a brand or makes up a story mm. for a brand so that is something i really wanted to explore more so after working there uh i knew that i wanted to study illustration formally uh so i wanted to quit my job but uh, the folks that i was working with were very very kind they told me you know if your plan is to just study for like 3 months and uh, come back here we are still very happy to hold the job for you so that is the reason i did not essentially quit my job yeah, yeah. i just knew that this was the duration of the residency mm-hmm. I went there I completed the residency and I came back and started my job again mm-hmm. so that was essentially uh, how I did it uh, in terms of this like I said I was very lucky I that those people let me do this without leaving the job but it's not always possible well, yeah. so some people have to quit even if to do they want to do a residency I was ready to quit like because I did not expect this to happen mm-hmm. so i gave my resignation letter because i thought it was really important for me to find out what's there yeah got it to fir aapne isko apply kaise kiya svi aapne identify kar liya illustration karni hai identify kar liya america jana hai identify kar liya hmm to apply kaise kiya matlab portfolio dena padta hai letter likhni padti hai कुछ कट ऑफ भी होता होगा कि कितने टाइम पहले बिकॉज दे मस्ट बी सिलेक्टिंग द पीपल ना मतलब इतने एप्लीकेशन में से या आई मीन आई एम अज्यूमिंग सो आई डोंट नो हाउ दे सिलेक्ट और व्हाट इज द एग्जैक्ट प्रोसेस ऑफ सिलेक्शन बट आई डू नो दैट मेनी पीपल अप्लाई बिकॉज दैट इज समथिंग आवर प्रोफेसर हैड मेंशन ऑल्दो द एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस आई डोंट नो इफ इट्स द सेम नाउ बट व्हेन आई वेंट इन 2018 आई बिलीव it was still uh, submitting a few samples of your work and uh, also i think writing like why you wanted to do the mm-hmm. residency or some short brief about it uh, i think they didn't specifically ask for it but i had sent it anyway because i was sending a mail mm-hmm. and just to make my intentions clear mm-hmm. of why i want to go there right mm-hmm. so uh, i think that was the only requirement it mm-hmm. was just a few samples of work because it's not essentially a degree or like something academic that you are getting in hand after the course so i don't think it had very those strict exam like application rules so i feel it was it was just that so once i sent it i think uh, they have a cut off date to let everybody know whether they have gotten in also they communicate that to you mm. and uh, once i received a reply that i have been selected i started looking up what was the visa process like what visa they needed and all of those formal invitation letters se matlab yeah yeah got it ab the thing is ki i can say that it's a prestigious residency program mm-hmm. okay it's because probably i am in this space and i appreciate it mm-hmm. even though i might be like in the corporate sector or whatever mm-hmm. but um, like to you i know ki uske baad you also switched your job right so um, do you think matlab mm-hmm. i want to ask, ask you straight right. usse mujhe kuch farak pada hai matlab mm-hmm. has kisi ne isko uh, acknowledge kiya or mm-hmm. matlab how has it affected your professional life uh, i would say definitely bahut farak pada hai acha uh, yeah yeah I oh wow would, yes i was expecting you say nahi then i think the whole point of going there obviously you have higher expectations mm-hmm. because you feel like 
oh mm-hmm. i'm going to go to a new country i'm going to see so many new things get inspired by that draw something fantastic mm-hmm. and be famous mm-hmm. obviously it doesn't work like that mm-hmm. uh, different things happen they are also good and i think for me what was the best thing that i realized was that i didn't want to do illustration full time no oh. which i was almost convinced of when i started the residency ki oh i want to do this but i realized during the residency whatever i was making as an illustrator i definitely started applying that to my designer brain about how i want to present that illustration in what context will it appear how do i want it to be seen by other people and all of that so i knew that okay i have a soft spot for illustration but i also don't want to completely ignore it like graphic design or design uh, mm-hmm. in that case so for me that realization changed how i viewed my career mm-hmm. what i wanted out of it so definitely that happened and another thing is so much education about what exactly illustration is mm-hmm. that i had just a very very small tiny idea about i still don't think i have the complete knowledge of it but whatever i learned there was definitely much more than i thought i knew when i before i went basically so there are so many different types and like i said in india it's very hard because the business for illustration is not as much mm-hmm. uh there is editorial there is publishing there is you know all these comics that you can do so all the things that you get to know there were very very valuable to me here because even if i don't do it professionally now uh, i still do it for my passion projects because i like those type of illustrations as well so definitely it has changed the way i look at things i look at illustration design and how to apply it in my daily job as well No, but I get it. Like it's mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. My question was mm-hmm. for the people who might be thinking that masters can be. You know how it is in corporate. That mm-hmm. masters को ये नौकरी मिलेगी, ये job band मिलेगा, you mm-hmm. know like that. So mm-hmm. because I know that there are a lot of people who consider masters only because they think that इसके बाद you know like mm-hmm. job is going to ये effect होगा. अच्छा. So you're saying that in the scheme of like the position, position you get. Position. Yeah. But like you came back to India. Like mm-hmm. you were working in India. Mm-hmm. You were working in a uh, startup. Still, mm-hmm. it was quite, it's quite recognized. And mm-hmm. then you went for your uh, SBA thing. You mm-hmm. came back. Right. Like for me, it was like oh my god. Like Sonia went to SBA, mm-hmm. and that also for illustration. ठीक है. तो अभी if I was at one position and then. I had you as an applicant. I would really consider, like, I would be like, hmm. respect, like this woman is born and done this. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying that because in my personal experience, this has happened that yeah. um, after my masters, hmm. when I came back to India and I applied somewhere, they don't even know about the college while right, it's right. like top two in the world. अरे मैं उसको जाके थोड़ी बोलूंगी कि टॉप टू है और उनको कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता है वो तो मुझे ऐसा लगा कि दे डिड नॉट केयर अबाउट इट बट देर ऑल्सो वर पीपल वेन आई इंटरव्यूड विद देम लाइक इफ देर वॉज सम ऑन द पैनल वो न्यू अबाउट वेर आई इंटर्न और वेर आई स्टडीड और लाइक इवन इफ दे न्यू अबाउट सृष्टि दे वुड थिंक कि अच्छा मतलब अच्छे कॉलेज से यू नो हाउ इट इज इन इंडिया आई आई टी से है आने दो आई एम से आने दो कैसे एम बी ए वालों को एग्जाम से पेडिग्री देख के साइड कर देते हैं सो आई फील दैट एस बी ए इज अ पेडिग्री कॉलेज अब कोई बंदा एस बी से आ रहा है रेजिडेंसी करके भी आ रहा है तो फिर भी उसकी बहुत इज्जत है तो मैं क्या उसका कुछ मिला बेनिफिट I think definitely some people who have an idea about like institutions mm-hmm. or design colleges in general mm-hmm. do say oh wow it's sweet yeah. but it's like once in a while it's not something that oh my god like long term ha ha we so, all know it's long term correct but mai like i want to get it straight ki yeah. ye mat soch ke jao ki no no it doesn't matter haan. that way because design in our field it's important like what's your work what you haan. do your portfolio doesn't matter where, whether you have even studied design mm-hmm. nobody looks at your resume being like oh this person has formally studied design mm-hmm. or done a residency at a really good college or anything mm-hmm. it's just a like a bonus yes. or a secondary thing to just ha- good to have mm-hmm. not like must have 
so i wouldn't say it benefits you in that way that like way. nobody looks at the name and your degree or what you did and then say oh this should this person should be at a higher position ah yeah. because so i don't think it works hmm. that way agar koi ye soch raha hai to ye nahi soch nahi hey, this, this is, is a this. myth this ah, does not doesn't happen. work doesn't work no yes. doesn't work for yes. me also yeah cool theek hai now now you reached sba and तुम्हारा professor actually does in mm. their daily life mm. as a professional artist mm. and how they want to go about it or teach that to the students there so for the first session i think we had two wonderful uh, professors who one was pretty much into children's book illustration okay and uh, he also like i said illustration is a very like vast field there because you have so many types and business for that mm-hmm. as well mm-hmm. so he not only did like children's book illustrations he also did various editorials various uh, you know spot illustrations and mm-hmm. like he had a bunch of things going on but what he wanted to actually also do was have a mix of all these because in the context of where they come from uh, all of them are priced differently mm-hmm. like a spot illustration will be different now i don't remember the rates because it's all from the point of view of uh, that surrounding new york city but uh, in terms of all of these being compared together you need like a stable income then you need something that can just give you add on over your stable income sometimes that's all they possible. are talking about this ki iske zyada paise nahi milte iske milte yeah yeah very open very open yeah. yes so that was another thing that you know you don't do in india often yeah yeah which i don't understand why like if that helps anybody just tell them what you are earning or just tell them the number like geez what will ha- what will happen okay fine can you right now also just <laughs> से कि इंडिया में मैगजीन के या फिर कोई न्यूज़पेपर हेडर कितने पैसे मिलते हैं सो आई डोंट नो हाउ व्हाट इज द लाइक द राइट रेट दैट पीपल आर बीइंग चार्ज बट आई कैन टेल यू व्हाट पीपल हैव अप्रोच्ड मी फॉर एंड व्हाट दे हैव ऑफर्ड सो फॉर अ मैगजीन इलस्ट्रेशन पीपल हैव ऑफर्ड मी 1000 लाइक व्हाई बिकॉज़ इट्स स्मॉल स्मॉल या या एंड आई एम लाइक कि ठीक है साइज makes a difference to an extent but the work i put in however the size is is the same yeah so i will not be done in 1000 so and iterations or revisions yeah yeah wo to chhod do aapka hi kaam hai wo to aapka hi kaam hai aapko karna hi padega so i think in that sense uh, 1000 is what everybody wants to get stuff done in uh 500 is like <laughs> also used to happen to me so i haven't heard 500 in a long time mm-hmm. but uh yeah people don't usually say i'll pay a lakh for an illustration yeah so that's but ask for yeah what <laughs> <laughs> okay cool so now you reached and also you are they are telling you that this is the they do spot illustrations and then they do yeah. spreads and right, stuff right okay so uh, you get to know what the uh, professor himself or herself has gone through when they do all this so we had that uh, with one professor another professor was solely focused on making comics mm-hmm. that's it comic books mm-hmm. and also separate comics mm-hmm. for say the new yorker or different publications like that so both of them took our assignments in such a way that we had to approach the same topic in different ways like there are so many different print formats that all these can exist in so obviously books are in print but at the same time there are other like uh, accordions and zines and there are all these different print formats that illustrations can work wonderfully on mm-hmm. so they uh, also brought in a lot of samples for us to check uh, so the first session of the course was basically planned by these two 
and we had a few sessions with the director of the course as well mm. so he uh, is a multidisciplinary illustrator to that extent also i think i would say a multidisciplinary designer because mm. he also designs like book covers Achha. so even if you do an illustration he puts it with type and makes it into a design on mm. a book cover so all of that is something we learned with him so he had specific assignments to book cover design mm. etc so all of this uh, together amounted to the first session and with respect to the ses- second session we had the same director uh, take the same assignment but with different briefs and then you had two different professors who again did a bunch of all these things together uh, but also they brought in different perspectives of different say artists that they also like so i would say the professors being different just makes the two sessions drastically different in terms of what you produce and what you learn both of them for me personally were equally good hmm. so i was very happy i did both of them yeah but for some people they felt oh no it was this, like we didn't learn anything new so it really depends on how you look at it i enjoyed myself Mm-hmm. Okay. So by the end of your 3 uh, months mm-hmm. if i have to ask you in terms of deliverables what mm-hmm. all did you produce? Uh so it was like i think because i was used to other art school culture earlier it was easy for me to just adapt to an exhibition at the end of the session mm-hmm. that's what used to happen mm-hmm. we called our exhibitions open studios mm-hmm. that's what uh, residencies generally do. so we had to display all the work that we did in the first session we had a dedicated space for each person to exhibit and it was up to us how much we wanted to print it was up to us whether we even wanted to keep some free samples for people to take away just in case somebody noticed our work and gave us business mm-hmm. over it so there were such things also that you can do during those open studios you network you talk to people mm. so all of that happens after every session so there was one open studio after the first session there was one after the second session as well mm. okay yeah cool so now if uh, i want to go mm-hmm. just to get an idea like in between work if my office people agree then uh, works out to me like how were, how much was it priced or cha- uh, at that time uh, i believe each session at that time was around 3000 dollars us dollars so Achha. the total would be 6000 so 6, each 000. yeah each that at in like couple of years ago mm-hmm. i think the price should still be around that unless they have gone like crazy mm-hmm. with the numbers mm-hmm. but i think it's usually 6000 for both sessions Okay. Hmm. Now, if someone wants to go for this hmm. uh, artist, artist me, uh, summer, summer illustration, illustration residency. Hmm. Um, first question is, who is this ideal for? Hmm. Second part is, अगर उनको next residency पे जाने या फिर अभी three months वाले में जाने किसी में भी जाने, तो क्या prep करें? कैसे वो अपना काम बनाएं? um so to answer your first question who is it ideal for i think uh, it can be applicable for either people who already are aware mm. uh, that they like illustration they want to explore it further mm. or they want to even look at a masters and mm. want to get a sense of whether it's worth investing so much time effort mm. uh, so this is just like an introductory course i would say to illustration so that would be a, a certain kind of audience another people like type of audience that would benefit from it when you say another people <laughs> so another kind of people uh, that would benefit from this are also people who have no clue about mm-hmm. illustration want to want to know more who want to also understand how it works who want to experiment who want who just have the money and also the time to explore mm-hmm. this so i think what one would be that as well another also could be maybe people who are unsure of mm-hmm. what they like and want to find out what they like in design whether they want to do illustration full time or not 
or it could just be to learn more like mm. just you know i just want to i feel like learning this today mm. uh, so uh, why not so there could be multiple ways to look at it but i feel primarily for people who uh, have an idea about illustration will definitely maybe benefit more from it but people who don't know anything also will have a very very different learning from it so yeah. that way i think it's applicable for those people what was your second question how would they go up uh, prepare for it okay so um, i think if you are remotely interested in illustration drawing is your best friend pencil and your hand just draw mm-hmm. i think what you look at in terms of you know i have made something very bad looking or i don't like what i've made is definitely something that is always going to stay with you as an artist mm. it doesn't go away but at the same time you need to keep doing it mm. to get better so even my idea of drawing first was very neat you know uh, like to the point sharp but when i went to the residency i realized how beautiful like the messiness of drawing mm. can be and that eventually translated to the work i do now mm. so i feel that is something that you can just keep doing to kind of make sure that you are preparing yourself for any sort of illustration course because it helps mm-hmm. and uh, i remember our like director telling us that you know when we look at samples of work it's not just finished and polished pieces we are looking at we are really looking at how you draw and especially sva illustration does focus a lot on just how you draw so you might not even color it your no. strokes will tell them how much you know you are good at drawing or how much work you need mm-hmm. so uh, i believe just keep drawing and that just some of these samples that you think are good mm-hmm. could be good enough to get you through the residency cool so now if you get a chance to go again hmm like in 10 years would you go again uh, would i be paying for it sure then i'll pay for it would oh. you go yes definitely hmm yes or also hmm. alternatively hmm. if you get to know about any other residency from any other hmm. uh, legacy schools hmm or if you know about any other residency hmm. would you want to go for that so actually i'm uh, currently also researching uh, about more residencies i've recently gotten into pottery and mm. it's something i've started enjoying so i've been looking for pottery residencies mm. in india as well as abroad uh, so there are like a couple of like different studios that mm. offer such residencies mm. just because it's pottery as a domain mm. but for design i think you will really have to hunt at which Uh, other residencies are offered by different colleges but uh, in terms of that i am always on a lookout for residencies because i believe they are just a very good break from your usual daily life mm-hmm. as a designer and you also get to learn a lot you get to meet new people you get to meet new artists you realize oh, oh this person does this so differently than i would probably approach it mm-hmm. so you do learn a lot in the process so mm-hmm. i am a fan of residencies in general I would definitely recommend that to anybody who's planning to study something but is like just wanting to experiment with more and not worried about a degree or a you know some mm-hmm. academic thing in hand. Got it. Cool. So School of Visual Arts is one place that people can apply to can look up for even for masters courses and also for this residency. Uh if they're interested in illustrations any other uh, courses that are very uh, popular there mm, i don't uh, think i know about them enough because i primarily looked at their illustration courses but i would say do your thorough yeah. research on their website because these folks all the websites of these institutions mm-hmm. be it sva be it you know uh, pratt institute be it ual be it yeah. any design schools abroad they are very very particular about listing down everything on their mm-hmm. website although it may not be like easily available right at one click you have to go and yes yeah. yes that happens a lot especially on yale website i remember when i was looking at yale school of art uh, they have so much happening on yeah, their yeah, website yeah. 
so it's a little hard to like find things but keep at it look at uh, more forums that are talking about this uh, look at more designers who are talking about this or even teaching at these institutions and you'll get to know a lot more about such things or something yeah. that are happening cool yes. for your work people can follow you on instagram sonia yes it's n s o n i y a dot v h a s e and uh, yeah feel free to like reach out to me there as well if you guys have any queries about the residency or uh, uh, anything related to design i'd be happy to help you out for this particular course i'll link in the description sure and uh, yeah that's it hope this was helpful yeah. thank you bye bye, -bye.